Why is a blog an important part of your business and your online platform? Guys, Kim here from Your Social Voice. And today I wanna to talk to you about why you need to have a blog, right? And a lot of the time people get confused when they hear the word blog, vlog, all the different log types out there, right? There's a whole bunch of different things and what they actually mean. But if you distill it down, what it really is, is you have a website and on that website, you have some written articles, right? where you're sharing some of what's going on for you in your business, in your world, whatever that might be. Now, why is it important to have one? Well, really the way I like to think of it is that people can learn in several different ways, right? They can watch something, they can listen to something, they can read something or they can experience something. They're really the four different learning types that I think of. So how could you do those? Number one, obviously video, watching something, audio, podcasts, maybe listening to the radio, reading something like a book, a magazine, a blog, an article, and experience something like going to a live event, for example. So there's four key areas there that people can be looking at and experiencing to learn. So if you don't have a blog, if you don't have something that is written for them to read, you could lose 25% of the audience because they prefer to read. They prefer to have something written down on a piece of paper, written down on a website that they can read and consume. So that is really why I think it's important to have a blog to start off with. But that is only the first part. The second part is that if you look at a blog as a whole, it is really one of the only platforms that you actually own, right? And what I mean by owning is that you own your website, you have it hosted, it's yours. Everywhere else that you have uh, different pieces of content, if you have audio, visual, whatever it else might be, it's actually on borrowed spaces, on other people's spaces, on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, um, LinkedIn, wherever it is. And that's not actually yours, right? So if that all disappeared tomorrow, what happens? It's gone. Unlucky, too bad, so sad. Your existence is wiped off the face of the world. However, if you have it on a blog, if you have it on your website, you own it, you control it. If it goes down, you can push it back up, right? You can embed things on there. You can always have it there. So that is why I think number one is very important to have is because of people reading it. Number two is because it's something that you own. Now, there's so many other reasons why it's important to have one. And I'll talk a little bit about how to create it and what that looks like too. But for me, a lot of the time, if people want to solve a problem right now, like if I have a plumbing problem, if I have a social media problem, something that's causing me a problem right now, most of the time I don't go flick through Facebook to try and solve the answer. I go to Google, I search it, and I look at what comes up. Which is why, again, it's important to have a blog is because it can take that search traffic that people are searching for the answer for and bring those people right to you, which is very important. Because otherwise, they're out there searching, they're going to your competitors, they're going to other people. So what that means is that by having a blog, you can actually bring that search traffic in because if people are searching for the solution to their problem and you just so happen to write an article about it, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, you've got that sitting there right there for them to read, they are then more likely to pick up the phone and call you, call the number on your website, opt in and leave an um, inquiry because you've solved their problem. But if you just have a video, if you just have audio and they're not on your website, they're not part of your blog, people can't find it which means that it's very important for SEO purposes to have a blog, to have updated content, and that's why being at the heart of your business, if you were online, your website is what you own and everything else is an offshoot of that, it means that you actually can sit there and create a, uh, like a vortex to bring people in from all those other platforms. Right, but now what if you're going, Kim, that sounds all real and good, but I am not a writer. I am not someone who can sit there and type things out for a million different hours and oh, now I have to do spelling and grammar. I don't even know how to spell grammar. Like PS, I don't, I use Grammarly. I don't know how to do it either, right? But there's simple hacks to get around that. So what I would recommend you do is, for example, if you record audio, if you prefer that, or if you like doing video like me, you can actually use that to create a blog as well as you get a little bonus benefit, which I'll talk about in just a moment. So number one, what you get to do is if you record a video like this or you record an audio, let's just say you're talking to yourself, you can send that off to a platform, a platform called REV, rev.com. What that will do is that will give you a full transcript of everything that you said. Then you send that to someone who can quickly edit that and uh, make sure that there's no spelling errors, make sure that it sounds correct because normally when we speak, we don't speak as we would write, right? We might be having some slang, some colloquialisms, if you will, in there and amongst everything. And it may not make perfect sense, except when you listen to it, it does, right? So you get that edited. Then, boom, bam, slam, you've got a blog, 
written for you, completely done and dusted, all ready to rock and roll just by doing a video, just by doing a audio. Now you might be thinking that's cool, but then how do people, if they have, like, if they like to watch video or they like to listen to stuff, then and I've just got my blog, how do I benefit from that? Great question. So I would encourage you if you do look, if you do like video, if you don't mind being on video, record a video first, like this video, upload it to YouTube, embed that on your blog, extract the audio, host that on SoundCloud. Put that underneath, get your captions done, your transcription, all written out nicely, put that underneath, bang. You have got video, you've got audio, and then you have a full transcription, a full written article about what it is that you do. Now, what are some of the sneaky bonuses if you do that? Well, by having a video on there and an audio, if people listen to the whole thing, it actually increases what they call your time on site. So by having good video or good audio, even if they don't read the article, if they sit there and watch it, Google goes, hmm, you just spent 10 minutes on this website. They don't know you're just only watching a video. You spent 10 minutes on this website, Google tick of approval, Google seal of approval because you've actually given them what they want. People spending time on a website, which Google's like, oh, you're doing a good job here just by purely doing one piece of content. Because I know a lot of the time people go, I'm doing Facebook Lives, I'm doing videos, I'm doing YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat. Now I've got to write articles and a blog as well. Not necessarily is every single one of them different, right? Because then again, using that one piece of transcription, from there you can grab a little snippet, a little quote that you said, turn that into a quote card, chuck that up on Instagram. By creating one piece, you can effectively create four, five, six, seven pieces of content from just doing one thing. And if you're anything like me, you've probably tried videos before, live videos, uh, recorded videos like this. So you probably already have content out there. So you can go and grab that, get it transcribed, get the captions off it, get it all written out and start posting those blogs. Maybe you wanna post them on LinkedIn as a LinkedIn Pulse article. But by having a blog, it doesn't have to become more work for you. You just need to work out how to do it smarter, better, and faster. So if we recap that as a whole, number one, yes, you need to have it so you can address the four different learning styles. Number two, it's going to be good because it's gonna allow you to have your vortex, your base on the internet that you own. Number three, go out there and create it by doing stuff you're already doing like these videos. And then number four, push it out there, promote it, get people into your world, and it's gonna be easy for you rather than having to do every single one of these things individually, bring them all together. Imagine it's like spokes on a bicycle, your website is the main sprocket, and then you've got the, uh, the spokes coming off it that hold your business up as a whole. I highly recommend you guys do this because it's only gonna add value to you, it's only gonna increase your website presence and awareness, and it's only gonna make you more successful as a business owner. Guys, if you've liked what I've just shared, please give me a little thumbs up. If you didn't like it, that's cool. Give me a thumbs down, uh, but just tell me why. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought. And as always, make sure that you subscribe so that you get to see these videos before anyone else. As always, I've been Kim Barrett. You guys have been awesome. Adios.